The chicken production process has come a long way. A century ago, chickens were raised for both eggs and meat. Today, there are two types of chickens because genetic selection is focused on production and efficiency. Egg-laying hens are small and have been selected for efficient egg production. Broilers, on the other hand, have been selected for rapid growth and can reach market weight in a matter of weeks. The large increases in chicken production are the result of breeding, nutrition, and management changes. In Canada, chickens grow extremely fast with exceptional feed conversion. Compared to 50 years ago, an equal amount of chicken breast meat can be produced with one third of the feed. Can you see the difference? The chicken on the right is a broiler from 50 years ago, while the one on the left is a modern broiler. Broiler production involves many steps to produce the various poultry meat products which are available at local grocery stores. The entire process starts with broiler breeders, which are the parents of broilers. These birds produce fertile eggs. These fertile eggs are sent to commercial hatcheries where they hatch into broiler chicks. Broilers are raised on farms for several weeks until they are shipped to the meat processing facilities. These facilities prepare the meat you see in the grocery stores. Consumption of chicken has increased dramatically in recent years. This has been a direct result from improvements in efficiency, marketing, and changes in consumers' attitudes towards chicken. Let's have a closer look at how chicken meat is produced. Broiler producers practice all-in, all-out management, where all the birds of old flocks leave at the same time and the entire new flock arrives at the same time. This allows the producer to clean and disinfect the barn between flocks, which helps prevent diseases. The barn temperature must be brought up to about 35 degrees Celsius before the chicks arrive, to ensure that floors and bedding are warm for the chicks. Boxes of chicks arrive from the hatchery in environmentally controlled trucks. Feed and water must be readily available for chicks when they arrive from the hatchery. Extra places to eat and drink are often provided to make sure that the birds get off to a good start. Barns are heated using heaters that run the length of the barn, maintaining a common environment throughout. The chicks get plenty of extra attention at this stage to ensure that they are comfortable and have begun eating and drinking. Broiler chicks may be vaccinated before they come to the farm so they can develop immunity to specific diseases. Vaccination may reduce bird performance for a period of time, but the benefits are worth it if they are exposed to diseases. Broilers can be vaccinated by injecting just under the skin of the neck or by spraying a fine mist over a box of chicks whereby they ingest the vaccine. In order to maintain high standards of food safety and quality, Chicken farms follow strict biosecurity protocols to reduce the likelihood of bacteria and viruses entering the barns. By changing coveralls and boots, washing hands, boot dips, and some farms even showering before entering the barn, the risk of exposing the chicks to diseases are reduced. Vehicles that enter farms are routinely washed. Any new equipment is washed and disinfected before being introduced to the barn. Authorized farm visitors sign a logbook so the farmer has a record of all foot traffic. Barn doors are kept locked and signs are placed by the entrances to help the producers control access to the buildings. One of the major reasons broilers are housed in closed barns is to prevent their contact with all wild birds. Wild birds may carry disease, which is why biosecurity is so crucial to broiler production. One major concern is that people will carry disease from wild flocks, such as geese, into the barns. By following strict biosecurity guidelines, many inadvertent infections can be prevented. Fresh air is important in the barns to ensure flock health. Air movement also helps dry the litter and thereby reduce ammonia. In winter, when the air outside is cold, the air must be heated before it reaches the birds. Air must be circulated often. This is done with large exhaust fans, which replace the air in the large commercial barns several times per minute. Since broilers grow rapidly, they have huge appetites. Typically, the lights of the barn are turned on for 23 hours per day to encourage the birds to eat and grow. Low light intensities limit bird activity and achieve better feed conversion. The light should be bright enough to comfortably read a newspaper. Many producers rely on high-tech computerized control systems. These systems monitor airflow, temperature, lighting, 
and feeding systems. The best producers spend a lot of time in their barns making small adjustments to the system to ensure that conditions for the chickens are just right. Alarms alert the producer if conditions inside the barns change. If the power goes out, most farms are equipped with backup power generators. In addition to an audible alarm, the system can usually be programmed to call a cell phone to alert the producer of the problem. So how fast do broilers really grow? A 40 gram broiler chick can reach a market weight of 2 kilograms in a mere 37 days. This is 50 times its body weight in less than 40 days. It's important to feed the birds right. High protein diets are provided to ensure the birds grow quickly and do not become excessively fat. Diets are based on barley and wheat grains with canola and soybean meal added to satisfy the protein requirement of the total feed. Broilers are never fed growth hormones. Birds are fed with automatic feeding systems. Broilers are allowed to eat as much as they want at all times, and the feeding system is set to fill the feeders automatically when feed levels become low. Birds have access to clean, fresh water through automatic systems. Water nipple systems have replaced other methods which traditionally provided water in cups or troughs. Nipple drinker systems prevent water wastage and bacterial contamination. Birds are weighed regularly to ensure they are meeting their target weights. This can be done manually or by using automatic scales. Producers weigh a representative sample of birds from a barn. With the automatic scales, the birds step on the scales located in the barn and a computer records the data. There have been some unintended consequences of selecting for rapid growth, such as poor leg strength and metabolic disorders. However, with improved selection at the breeder level and proper management at the producer level, these metabolic disorders are prevented. At the producer level, reducing feed intake by decreasing the lighting can prevent these types of problems. Also, breeders have aggressively selected against many of these metabolic diseases. Proper management, along with on-farm food safety protocols, ensure that products sold in retail stores are of the highest quality. Once the birds reach market weight, they are shipped to meat processing facilities. Grocery stores often carry several sizes of whole chickens. These include Cornish game hens, broilers, and roasters. These birds are simply broilers grown to different weights. The smallest size are Cornish game hens, which are actually chickens under one kilogram in weight that are grown until about four weeks of age. Broilers are grown to 1.1 to 2.5 kilograms, usually between four and six weeks of age. The largest size are roasters, which are broilers over 2.5 kilograms. These birds are approximately 12 weeks of age at the time of processing. Some producers grow specialty chickens, including organic or free range. Free range birds have access to the outdoors, while organic birds are fed only certified organic feed. Producers use good management practices to maximize the performance of broilers. This allows consumers to enjoy high quality chicken meat. The combination of advanced knowledge of nutrition and rapid improvements in genetic potential of broilers has allowed the chicken industry to provide consumers with safe, natural chicken meat.